Hello everyone, Kukmoor here, and welcome to a gameplay commentary on this tier 14 map. Uh, this is actually the highest map I have right now. I want to have a higher, but I, they're never dropping for me, so let's have this one. This is just going to be a fun uh, maze map. And I'm going to play an, uh, as an, my alternative uh, version of my uh, dual wield uh, crit uh, blade floor build. So I just altered the version of it a little bit, so I'm not dual wielding anymore. I'm using a shield. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, maybe later. But uh, let's have some fun in this map. The reason I wanted to change to uh, using shield, not because my uh, original build guide was bad, not at all, It was it's just a beautiful build, and this will do a lot less damage. But I wanted to try out a new shield, because I get an idea, because if I can't miss, are you seeing that shield again? I actually can show it. This shield makes uh, means that I can't miss anymore. And I can have a pretty good crit chance, about 60% when all my buffers are up. So quite a good uh, crit chance, so uh, I went for that, but I sacrificed about over 40,000 in damage, so I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I did before, but I have a lot better survivability. And that's what I went for. My other build have good survivability, but I want to have even, even, even better, yes, because try it out. And the damage in this build right now, it's good enough. And also uh, extra experiment a little bit with other setups. So that's that. And this map, the boss on this map, going to be Val. And as you probably can see right now, uh, if you're watching my other videos and have watched my channel, many people have asked me why I'm not using item filter. And one of the co in the comments uh, told me that there are. Uh, common item filter which are inbuilt, you just need to activate it. And I had no idea that uh, that actually existed before. So now I'm using the common item filter. And it is glorious. So I understand why you always pointing out to me why I should I use an item filter. Because it's just amazing, it saves so much time. So uh, it's, it's awesome and if you're watching I want to say thank you. But now talk about that. Let's see if we can actually find the boss on this map. This is a maze map, so according to that name, it should be a maze. And, uh, uh, and also, actually, I think you may be wondering, are you seeing uh, how fun now for a change? I, and are you seeing uh, Wolf's Mark instead? And uh, no, I'm not using Wolf's Mark anymore. I actually using uh, actually I'm using another uh, curse. Are you seeing uh, what was the name for that curse now? Man, I'm forgetting things too easy. Uh, Assassin's mark, sorry. So I have a chance to get uh, some a little bit better uh, better crit chance with that because I did some changes. And I have a pretty good chance to actually I actually have a uh, actually have a. Even even more different setup in my uh, skill games, but this skill setup you can use on the no my uh, my normal build before as well. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. Uh, I actually using physical lighting now, so I can uh, shock enemies, which means that my uh, hell thunder will uh, hit some enemies. Let's say it like that. And that also means I need to be a little bit careful against. Uh, Element of reflect before the reflect is no problem. It's still not a big problem, but I wouldn't recommend doing a map which have element reflect reflect on every single enemy. I'm not, I'm not going to one hit myself, but it definitely hurts if I get hit by it. And I want to do some more uh, breach lords. Unfortunately, I don't have the entire setup for it. So I'm gonna run back a little, little bit fast to town because I want to sell this too. It gives a really good profit, picking up uh, picking up uh, six uh, sockets. You can see that 14 euros for two six sockets. 
That is pretty good, and I really need the currency because I am a little bit poor right now, as you probably can see. Well, it depends who you ask. I was a little bit richer before, but I invested in some better gear. And also used some of it to craft some better gear. And also, I had a little bit more... Ooh, I don't want that. I had a little bit better currency before, but I made a fun character, as you may have seen in one of my other videos. Which was a, a, like a cast on crit build, or cock build, as it is called. <laughs> that name is so misleading. Which... Uh, it caused a little bit of chaos to make that build. Can I gonna say it like that? And also, I, because I'm now using a shield, I have been forced to use some more... Let's just say chaos to change the build, and I think I find the boss. And, uh, well, I'm not that afraid of this boss, but because it is wall, and it's just like normal wall. Don't get hit by the lightning. Because it may hurt. I have good chance to block that attack, but I don't like to take the chance. And I say that so many times, and I take the chance anyway. Because I'm really bad at uh, <laughs> not dying when I do high level maps, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to die in this map here. There was not a lot of you drop there, Mr. Wall. Give me something. Let's see if we actually. I really want a higher level map. I want a core map or a abyss map or why not a Colosseum map so I can try against Abados. But I really want some more tier 60 map because I want to fight some more guardians. And they are always expensive and they will never drop for me. Because I want to fight the guardian. And my favorite of the three guardians, which uh, guards the way to the Shapeless Realm, is definitely the Phoenix. Not because he's pretty easy, but that's not the reason. I like the fight, I like the mechanics, I like the battle, I like the theme. It's just an awesome battle can be hard. I once in uh, another character when I got a fight that I want to do a gnome uh, for some reason. I rolled a pretty decent uh, map mode. It's not too hard and pretty challenging but not nothing something possible. I uh, took a wall orb and corrupted it and get like the worst possible mods I could possibly get on that map and it is corrupted so I now I have to do it. And, like, let's just say that increased AoE on that boss is not a fun thing. And have less fire resist is not fun either. And, uh, and well, monster speed and damage? No. So, I have, but uh, if I can get credit, credit to myself, I actually took down into a little bit on the half life. So... Didn't, didn't do that terrible, but I didn't have any chance against that. It was just too powerfully, too powerful bosses for at least for that build. So uh, I couldn't beat that boss, which, which made me a little bit sad because I used all of that currency to get it, and I couldn't uh, finish it, which sucked a little bit. Watch this map, I take that. Ooh, something there hurt. Oh yeah, I forgot this map. Uh, I have lower uh, region of uh, life on this map on the mods. It doesn't have any that terribly hard mods, but actually it, it, it doesn't have any hard mods, so it's pretty much a safe map, but I like to play safe maps sometimes. It's, it's relaxing. And often when I play safe map, I actually rip. When I play this game, usually on the safe map because getting relaxed and don't paying attention to deadly things, deadly surprises, and all of that crap. Well, it can cost like a lot of experience. You can say it like that. I not drop a new map. I want a higher level map. Come on. And the map of things. This is why I never getting any high level map. This is a tier 14 map and I didn't get a single map over tier uh, 8. Which makes me a little bit sad. But I have to work to get a new, some new maps. 
Anyway, I hope you guys liked this little bit of commentary on this Halo map. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to go into more detail on this build in another video, which I'm gonna do pretty soon, because it is a little bit different. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time.